Welcome to my workplace at Rana Ghat, West Bengal, India. If you don't want to use a pre-chopper for soft cataracts, you can do zero vacuum uh, mechanical chop. In this video, I am going to demonstrate jet vac mechanical chop. This is the main incision and the entity chamber is filled up with visco. Visco is applied over the cornea for better visibility. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision. And now capsular excess. When the eyeball is tilted to any side, Hold the eyeball with the forceps, keep the eyeball in primary position looking straight upward and do the rexis. You will do a nice round rexis if the eyeball is in primary position looking straight towards the sky. So we have done a nice rexis almost like a femtorexis and now this is hydro dissection with uh, you know, uh, 27 Gauss cannula and basis. And now is the time to do uh, a mechanical chop. And now we will just go in case and here stop here and be in irrigation without vacuum. Now I am in irrigation. And now this is going and this is just supporting. No vacuum at all. Just, just two instruments are crushing this. So soft cataract when you are not able to hold, just in case and be in irrigation. And with these two instruments, crush mechanically. Again, just in case and just be in zero vacuum. And once it is visible, you use vacuum and just in also five minutes. Ultrasonic energy used in this case is 60%, set at 60%, but ultrasonic energy required is much less. Uh, vacuum is 480 millimeter of mercury and aspiration flow rate is 48 ml per minute. And now the uh, now nucleus is managed, the nucleus is removed. Now watch removal of cortex by the handpiece itself. You have to be very careful at this time. You have to keep an eye on the posterior capsule. No, we must not catch the posterior capsule. If we catch, if we happen to catch, we have to stop then and there, use reflux and release it. The vacuum at this time is 350 and flow rate 35 in IA mode, irrigation aspiration mode. So, cortex has been nicely cleaned by the handpiece itself and now we are going to implant an intraocular lens. We are going to use a B cartridge so the main wound has to be enlarged to about 3 millimeter. So engage at one side and do two cuts to get 3 millimeter wound and here goes the intraocular lens. The leading haptic goes in the capsular bag and the trailing haptic is pushed by the left hand irrigation probe in the bag. The irrigation probe is used to dial the lens and we are done. This is a bit of moxie. The side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. And a 
final lavage of the interior chamber is done. In this case, I am not using Simcoe, this is irrigation probe. Formation is done using this side port. Check the owned, no leakage, and we are done. Once the owns are checked, there is no leakage from the owns. Few drops of moxie is applied, and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. So, when you are not using pre-chopper, if you do not have pre-chopper or you are thinking that this is an additional instrument which you do not want to buy, this is the technique. Use zero vacuum, engage the handpiece, just support the lens mass with the handpiece and use your chopper to travel from periphery to the tip of the fecco needle and to mechanical job.